Hello everyone, Traspot over here, and today I just wanted to try something a little bit different this time around. Um, I just I just wanted to like ramble on a little bit on something that's been on my head for some time now. Um, I'm sorry about the echo in the background. I'm not currently recording this under a blanket, so you know it it it's, it it gets a little bit harder to breathe under there. So I'm doing this uh, without the script as well. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm again sorry if, if I start like rambling on on random stuff. I, I just thought, you know, instead of, you know, writing this on the paper, I'm just gonna say whatever comes to my mind. I've been the happiest I've been in a long time. Um, so I just wanted to like share some of my own experiences and some tips like on how you could be maybe a little bit happier with your own life. So. Okay, one thing I have learned, and maybe you should learn as well, is like, in order to be happy, you just gotta be cringe, okay? That's that's basically the whole motto I'm gonna go with. <laughs> it's just... Uh, what I mean is that you should stop caring less, okay? You really should not care about what others have to think. Like, if something makes you happy, and you know, you're worried about, you know, Oh man, what does what those people think that I'm fucking... TF2 player and stuff like that. that it is quite a dumb way of thinking from what I've learned. It's just that in, in life, we, we, everyone got their, you know, their own worries and, you know, things that they like, you know, they, you know, if you're worried like, oh man, what does other people think of me? It's just that, you know, most people don't really care what you like, okay? Uh, for me, for example, I am a big Toho fan, you know, I I collect Fumos and other Tohomers, you know, I've got like 15 of them. So basically, I used to be very worried about what others have to like think about, you know, what I do. But you know, you should like learn that, you know, it's just nobody actually really that much cares. And those who care, uh, they're either like a, like an asshole and you know, they're like, how dare you have fun. That, that's just basically their motto. They, they hate you having fun and you really shouldn't like care about their opinion. And even if they like poke fun at you, maybe it's like, you know, they they find it a little bit weird, but you know, they don't really care about, you know, what you like. So you don't, you know, care about it too much either. And I've also learned that, you know, once you stop caring about all the negativity and mo focus morely on the positives, you know, it makes you feel a little bit easier. So that's that's how I've been doing it, so I don't, you know, I, I won't really say that I don't care, you know, as long as, you know, it doesn't really, like, you know, involve me, and, you know, you're not actually, like, doing something harmful, then I don't really have, like, any, you know, need to care. If you just, like, watch anime a lot, and you're maybe, like, a furry, or I don't know, you like fucking fishing, then there's, like, really nothing to, like, care about, you know, just... If you, as long as you're not like doing anything harmful and you know you're happy about it, then then there's really nothing to you know to be worried about. Basically, don't care what others think. Okay, it's just be cringe and be happy. I would also you know recommend starting going outside and exercising. Uh, I used to think that you know it's kind of dumb. You know, there's no way it's actually that effective. Um, it actually is. It, it makes you feel good when, you know, you go outside, you get some little bit of sunlight and, you know, you're exercising. Uh, I've been bicycling for like a few years now and it, it has been doing wonders for me, for personally. I have lost so much weight and I just feel a lot better, you know, when I just exercise. And I would also recommend changing up your diet if, you know, if you're like eating garbage, you know, uh, I'm personally still learning a little bit of it. Uh, it's just, I'm just very lazy when it comes to making food. So, you know, I, I kind of eat garbage. So, <laughs> oh, I guess, you know, fucking trash, but it's garbage. <laughs> I also, you know, would recommend that if you're like suffering from depression, just don't stay in your bed. Just get up and do something, you know. It, it only gets like worse if you choose to stay in bed and you know just lay around doing nothing i myself uh, suffer from a uh, mild depression so you know it's just what motivates me is like i get up from bed instead of just laying there and i used do like these kind of videos and you know it makes me uh, happier that you know i instead of you know just like staying in bed and you know doing nothing i just like i'm productive you know it it, it, it feels great 
that you are doing something. I also, you know, I just wanna like tell, uh, you really should not like listen too much on whatever is going on inside your head. Like, if you feel like you're you're not good enough or you know you gotta be perfect, then I I really recommend that you know you don't listen to those talks as you know your head can really like mess you up. Like, I used to be very afraid of making mistakes and. You know, I was, I, I always thought that I'm not good enough, but once you know, you start like changing up that, you know, mindset a little bit, you know, you usually like, I would recommend like talking to like some professionals about this or like even like your close friends or family, you know, it's just like, you know, it took me a lot of time to like learn that, you know, you don't need to be perfect. And it's okay to make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. And that is completely fine. Just remember as well that you're always good enough. Don't don't undervalue yourself. Just, just go talk to like a professional. I've noticed, at least for me, it f helps very much that I like, well, ev like every once a month I can go like talk to like a professional, like talk about my worries, you know, it, it, it you know, it, it lessens the burden, okay? And this is gonna be a little bit more painful, but like, if you got like toxic people around you, it 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 does really suck. I know I've had to like cut some friends away just because you know they they were making me feel like shit. You know they were not good for me. You know it it does hurt if you lose a friend. You know, it, but trust me, it's let's make it like a like a TF2 like comparison. Imagine, you're running out of ammo, okay, like, instead of always relying on that, you know, small ammo pack, you know, it's just like, you just leave it there, you know, it, it, it does suck that, you know, you cannot, like, get yourself the full ammo, but, like, when, like, if you save it up to, like, a, like, a good friend, like, a dispenser, then you will always have full ammo, and you will be happy. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> But yeah, if there's like toxic people in your family, then I will not maybe cut all contacts, but you know, just distance yourself a bit and just don't talk to them too much, okay? I would also recommend not being too afraid to try out new stuff. Um, for the past six months, I was in a cultural workplace. Um, we used to do like sketches over there, um, maybe some stop motion and some other fun stuff. And you know, I really enjoyed making stop motion. I, I, I made like so many of them for the past few months. So uh, if, if anybody is interested, you know, I can make a, like an enlisted video and I will link it down below. So, you know, you can go see what I did there. And while I was there, I did make some friends, but uh, I'm going to be honest. I've, I've noticed that, you know, over the years, you know, I, I always used to be worried about, you know, not having lots of friends. But I've just noticed that, you know, I enjoy being alone. And that is completely fine. If if you're like if you're like someone who enjoys staying at home playing video games, but you know, you feel like, oh man, I just gotta go party with everyone. Oh man, I just gotta go drink. And even if you go there and you feel like very fucking miserable, then don't do it. Just if you wanna just stay home and play video games and that makes you happy, then just do that. Don't force yourself to do something that you don't really enjoy. Just to you know to please others. But like don't become like a like an entirely shut in. Just like you say like have few good friendships with other people. I mean obviously it's it's different for everyone. Maybe you do want friends and you know <laughs> then in, in, in that case then that's that's kinda bad. <laughs> I don't I'm not really that great on helping on that one, okay? You know, if you like something, even it's like cringe in other people's eyes. If it makes you happy, then be cringe and just be happy. That's basically the life lesson, you know, you should like learn. And I just want to like thank you all, you know, for helping me get this far. It really makes me happy that when people notice your work and you know, they, they actually want to see more of it. You know, they, there's like people who want to see more of what you do and you know it, it really makes me happy so again thank you all i'm i'm not really that great at showing feelings just because i'm finished so but still you know I, I just want to let you all i'm very thankful for everything you have done for me but to like I give a like a quick tldr if you you know 
don't really care you know, to hear every point individually. Um, stop caring, uh, start exercising and eat well. Um, cut those toxic people out of your life, try out new stuff and just do what makes you happy. I just want like... <laughs> I just like want everyone to you know start you know sharing the quote to be happy you have to be cringe okay <laughs> that that is like the main quote that you need to like remember from this video I want to thank you for you know making it this far listening to me to ramble I just wanted to like get this off my chest and you know just like this has been on my mind for some time now and I just wanted to like you know to let my talks out okay uh, again thank you all for everything you, you all have done. I am really happy right now and I just want to tell you all to have a nice day.